Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Barbie and I make hauls and vlogs and lifestyle videos. And today I'm going to try my hand at a makeup tutorial. So today I decided to film this makeup look, which is the look that I've been doing pretty much every day this summer. It's just really quick, really easy and really lightweight as well, which I love for the summer because it's been really bloody hot and I've been a little bit sweaty and this makeup has stayed put all day long. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I would love for you to follow me on my YouTube journey. So if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look, then carry on watching. So this is what I look like without any makeup. I have zoomed the camera in a bit so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit more clearly. And I've also pinned my hair back. Um, so yeah, this is my face. This is what I'm working with. As you can see, I've got quite dark under eyes and that is my main kind of concern. I wanna get those covered up. So to start with, I've already got some moisturizer on and I've got some eye cream on. I'll usually put a bit of primer on and I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I've been using this for years. I really like it. It just feels so velvety and smooth. It kind of fills up all of your pores. So after I've done my primer, I will put my base on. And because it's summer, I haven't really been into using foundations. They just feel really heavy on my skin, especially when you get a bit sweaty or when you're in the city and there's all the pollution and you feel really hot and sticky. So at the moment, I'm using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I got this when I went to New York and I'd wanted to try it for ages because I'd heard loads of people raving about it on YouTube and I love the fact that it's got SPF 50 because I'm getting laser hair removal done on my face I really want to try and avoid tanning because you cannot get laser done if you are tanned so yeah I love that it's got SPF 50 in it and apparently it has all these other great hydrating properties and loads of vitamins for your face and it's also got quite decent coverage for a CC cream it's meant to have like color correcting properties in it I usually put that on with a beauty blend because I hate getting like foundation and stuff all on my hands. I do use quite a bit of it just because I want like decent coverage with it. But it's so nice. It actually just feels like cream. Like it doesn't feel heavy at all. So yeah, just gonna blend, blend, blend. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm using this in the color Rich and I think it's actually a little bit dark so it matches me now that I'm tanned. So yeah, as you can see, that has got like really decent coverage and it's also like really glowy. Can you see? It gives me a bit of a highlight too. I'm just gonna put that on my neck. That's done. Right, so to cover these bad boys, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I believe this is a brand new product. <laughs> I might be totally wrong. I am not an MUA. But yeah, it is meant to be the new super coverage concealer from Too Faced. And yeah, I'm actually really liking it. I am using this in the shade Sand. And what I do, right, this is serious business. I need to get on my knees and come a bit closer. So, oh, look, you can see all my little spots. They're just popping up out of nowhere. Anyways, I'm going to stick a load of this on my under eyes oh, i'm actually a new woman once i've got my concealer on i love it i like to put a little bit down here as well just because i've got a bit of pigmentation around my mouth and then i'm just gonna blend that in This is like my quick go-to makeup look. And this is literally what I'll do like before work or after the gym. This is what I'm doing. That is my concealer on. And to set my concealer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. This is called Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. And it is a soft focusing, light diffusing loose powder. And what I do is I just get the lid and get my beauty blender pick a bit of powder up, dab a bit off on my hand first, and then just set my concealer, set around my nose a bit, and then I'll just go and do the other side. So next up, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, and I actually, did you see that hair flick? 
I, uh, when I went to New York, I bought this Fenty Beauty contour stick. It is called the Matchsticks and it is in the shade Coco. And I have been loving this. I'm not going to attempt to talk and put it on, but okay, let me stop. Let me stop. I'll show you. Look. Ooh. I've just been doing a bit of that and a bit of that. And then I will go along the forehead, do a bit on my nose, just like that a bit there, put a little bit here to hide the old double chin. And then again, same Dirty Beauty Blender. <laughs> I just blend it all in and I try and blend like upwards rather than downwards so that I get a bit of a glow. But I actually love this matchstick, like look, how nice the contour is. And then I just go and blend my nose out. Don't forget to blend out the double chin, otherwise you will look like you have a dirty neck. Nobody wants a dirty neck, do they? And then for blush, I've been using this really old NARS blush and it is in the most gorgeous orange colour. I feel like this is a really rare colour. It's called Taj Mahal and it's like a golden orange and you literally only need like a tiny bit because it is so pigmented. But I love this colour. I just feel like it gives me like such a nice glow. Okay, so that is the blush and then always got to put highlight on. I can't actually go out without highlight because it's my favourite thing ever. I'm using this little Fenty Beauty highlight that I got in New York and it is in the colour Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal and it is the Kilowatt highlighter it's really cool actually it's got two little pans and this one is a much more like natural highlight and this one you can actually see it's got like a lot more like chunky glitter in it so i usually just stick a bit of both on because i want to be glowing and i just use this fan brush and stick a load on my face and then i'll usually go in with uh, a bit of the chunkier highlight too just a little bit. There, can you see? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm glowing, bitch, I'm glowing. So that is my face done, super easy. I just love the kind of like bronzy oranges and the highlights. So I am gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I usually do put a little bit on just because I usually get like creasing on my eyelids. You can see it already where my concealer's creased. I'm gonna use the Anastasia <laughs> Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, which is filthy. I hate the packaging of this. But anywho, I'm gonna use the shade orange soda here which is just like a nice pale orange and I'm just going to take a bit of that and blend out where I've got a bit of creasing. My skin's quite dark so you can hardly see it but I just want my eyelids to look a little bit smoother and not have any creasing. Then I'm going to take a more condensed brush like this and use a bit of sienna and rustic which are more darker brown colours and I'm just going to run that along my lash line. Because I've got lashes on I don't want to wear like a winged eyeliner or anything I just want to wing my eyes out really softly with eyeshadow so I'm just going to blend that out now. Just gonna run the same brush under my eye as well. Don't really care if it's messy because they're like really neutral colours anyway. And then I'm gonna get a spoolie and just brush my lashes out a bit. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, mascara on my bottom lashes.
finish my eyes, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Fenty highlight. I'm just going to take a bit of both and put that in my uh, inner corner. And just along the bottom a little bit. Just to open up my eyes a bit. Just to tidy up my brows a bit, I'm going to use a bit of this NYX Brow Pomade and it is in the shade Expresso. I don't usually do much to my brows. I literally just fill them in a tiny bit just to make them look a little bit tidier. I don't like them too dark. I don't like them too shaped. Um, I do have quite bushy brows anyway, so I like the look of it. Done! And then to finish off my quick makeup look, I'm going to use my favourite lipstick ever. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, li Liquid Lipstick in the Shade Liquid Lipstick in the Shade Ashton, and it is just a kind of nude. It's quite a dark nude, actually. I think that's why it suits me. And this is my go-to lipstick. I use it pretty much every single day. Um, I'm just going to... Put a bit of that on. As you can see, I have got a bit of hairs on my upper lip because I'm getting laser done and I can't thread them and it's the most annoying thing in the world. So yeah, this is the finished look. Sometimes I'll go in with a little bit of lip gloss or something like that, but this is just the kind of thing I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Really quick, really easy, and, and I really like it. It's quite lightweight, it's quite glowy, which I love. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna use a bit of setting spray and this is just the and this is just the glam glow setting spray i don't actually like setting spray that much like it feels dirty does anyone else feel like that like i use it because it's meant to be good but honestly it just feels like really gross Right, so this is my makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've never done a makeup tutorial before, and to be honest, I felt a little bit flustered while I'm filming this. My face still looks soaking wet, so I'm just gonna try and dry that off a bit. I hope you enjoyed this video and you like this makeup look. But yeah, let me know if you wanna see some more makeup content from me. I absolutely love makeup. It is my favorite thing in the world. It is my best friend, so I'd be more than happy to do a few more makeup videos. But yeah, if you like this video, please Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below share it with your friends share it with your mum share it with your sister and yeah i will see you next time thanks for watching bye